What's up, guys? Your host, Buffalo Bob. And recently, there, there's been a lot of discussion lately about the possibility of the Sabres once again doing a rebrand on their jerseys. And the argument is, should the Sabres go back to the Goathead jerseys full time? And for me personally, I'm going to say yes on this only because, for one, the Sabres have been playing phenomenally in their recent alternate third jerseys, which is the Goathead the, uh, the reincarnated Goatheads, and they've been 4-0 since then. They've won four games. They beat St. Louis back in November, which they got debuted right before Thanksgiving. They beat San Jose. They beat L.A., and they blew them out 6-0 in a monster third period. And then, of course, they just beat the recently Detroit Red Wings right before New Year's. As of this video, I'm recording it on December 30th. And, yeah, the Sabres are on the tear right now, and people are seriously bringing up the conversation. Should the Sabres come back full-time in less than a couple of years uh, to the Goathead jerseys. Yes, they definitely should. They'll they'll sell revenue in tickets. They'll sell revenue in, in merchandise. They'll sell revenue in players, and players will want to come to Buffalo if you were to bring in the uniforms. So, like this, for example, I'm wearing the reverse retro jersey, thanks to my wife. I got this for Christmas. And it's a really nice uniform. And obviously, this is, like, limited or whatever. But outside of that, though, um, the jerseys themselves have been selling like crazy on NHL.com, on Cool Hockey, Fanatics, anywhere you could think of. There have been a lot of places that you can go to find these jerseys. If you're outside of Buffalo, like myself, I cannot get a single copy of these jerseys unless you get them on the first actual day that the jerseys actually got revealed and you were sold to the public. And there was an, and there was, and at the time they came out, there was a choice that I had to make: this or the goat head. I went with this because this is going to be worth more in the future. Uh, the Sabers could very well keep the goat head jersey around for another three or four years if they decide to, which I think they should. I, again, I think it would be a really good marketing tool and they would have the best set of uniforms in hockey of any team in the league. And their team is getting better. So I think if they stick with the Goathead jersey as a primary logo in less than five seasons, do what some teams in the NHL have done. Like recently, the Vegas Golden Knights had a great jersey as a primary home jersey when they first came into the NHL. And I think it was their second or third year, they came out with an alternate jersey, which was Vegas Gold. And sure enough, after the fifth year of its existence, the Golden Knights abandoned the gray jersey and then made the Vegas Gold jersey their home jersey, their primary home. So I think this could happen for the Sabres. The Hurricanes did it as well. So they had the black alternate jersey with the with the hurricane warning flags on it. And then just completely abolished the red jersey they used to have. And then they just kept the flag uh, jerseys as not only a primary jersey during the playoffs, but as a primary jersey in general. So the Hurricanes did the right thing. The Sabres could very well be on this path as well. That the royal blue and yellow is a classic color. But a lot of people are waiting in the wings for them to potentially say the Sabres are going with the goat head as a full uniform by 2027. I could very well see this happen in five years from now. Maybe sooner. I don't know. But I think there's going to be a lot of demand and a lot of, you know, popularity within the goat head. Because it was really, really popular 25 years ago when it first came out. And there was a lot of success. So we have not seen a road and home jersey for the goat head in 15 years, almost 20 years. So I think with that being said, they should seriously consider it because there was been some bad hockey with the navy blue and yellow, and then they went back to the original logo, which was retooled, and then went with navy blue, and then they missed 10 years of hockey, and they went back to royal blue, worked out fantastic, and then now people are saying, well, you we went back to the royal blue and yellow, which I think they should for now, and then go with the goat head as a uh, freaking alternate jersey. And personally, for me, I think it's an excellent combo to go with the new and the old, you know, looks. Because a lot of teams in the NHL are bringing back full uniforms. The Flyers, the Islanders, uh, the Sabres, just a handful of teams that are bringing back classic uniforms and making them the permanent uh, jersey for within their franchise. And then use something else as a, a, a alternate. Like I said, the Sabres are using the goat head as a alternate jersey. And then maybe in five years from now they'll, when you know they'll switch it up and they'll make a white version of the goat head and then it would be a, I would hope you know at that point it would be a permanent change to the uniform because it's a lot of people really like that that black and red I'm telling you 
it's going to sell really fucking well if they do that. So I think with being said, the argument of the day is, should the Sabres go to the Goatheads full time in less than five seasons? Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'd love to hear the response on this. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, and go Sabres.